everybody. It's Les and Ray in the morning show, and it's going to be a fabulous day today. Sunshine, 72. Low tonight, 55. Right now, it's 65. Stick with us, because a little later, we're going to have William Lamb, astrologer. Now, this guy's going to be right. hawking his tapes again. He's also the same guy that said we were going to win 2.5 in the lottery. And lose our jobs. Didn't happen. Topic today is our freeways, our city streets. Oh, it's driving me absolutely crazy. I can't stand it. You know, you're out there right now. You're listening to us. What is going on? Let's go to the rotor in the sky and see what freeways look like this morning. Hey, Lesson Ray. Things are looking pretty good up here. They're starting to clean up that overturned big rig on 317, and traffic's starting finally to move. So if you're coming out that way, it's looking a little bit better for you folks. Ray and Les taking your calls about that pent-up anger that you've got inside of the traffic and the mechanics. Tom's on line four. What do you got for us, Tommy? I can't believe it. He can barely breathe. He's so angry. Look at him. <laughs> I'm in the fast lane, and there's somebody in front of me doing 45. Oh, no, doesn't that drive you absolutely really nuts? Are they putting on makeup? I don't know. And if you're doing 40, get in the right lane. Move over. Get out of my way. It's Bill. Go ahead, Bill. What do you got for us? Have you ever gone into a darn mechanic and you just want your tire changed and they bring out these Pressures, they go and just bust up all your licks and that, and then they want you to pay for it. That's my worst mechanic story in the world. When I break out my little wrench and I go to change my tire, how many lugs do you think I've snapped? Probably not. Big fat zero. <laughs> take out their big hydraulic torque wrenches, they snap them off, and then they want you to pay for them. Now, how much is that going to cost? Bill, what it cost you? $59.95 per lug. Per lug. Per lug? And they're charging you for something they did. What? Well, you got way ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> way ripped off ain't the word for it. ticket for speeding. Never had a ticket for speeding. Well, she should get a ticket for doing uh, under the speed limit. I don't do, I follow exactly, it says 55, I go 54. And what are you talking about, following the rules? Doing lipstick, uh, putting lipstick on while you're driving, that's following the rules? I only do when I'm at a stoplight, all I, right? It's I, guys I, like you that give women drivers a bad name. It's women drivers that give women drivers a bad name. It's women drivers, Les. Oh, it's women drivers, Les. Like, put the rest of us in the hospital. Yes, doctor. He's under unsteady. And bring him deep, Todd. I can't see. Yes, doctor. I've ordered a 12 lead. Here's another angiogram. I said deep. Do you understand the word deep? Yes, doctor. Then do as I say, when I say it. Yes, doctor. BP's dropping, doctor. Oh, yes, it's dropping. He's got a hole in his heart. Thank you, Clint. Come on, come on, come on. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. We kept the car at 116. Another clamp. Second bottle up. Tonsil clamp. Tonsil clamp. Tonsil clamp. I need a tonsil clamp now. Well, that's it. Uh. Coming up. Pulse getting stronger. All right. You're excused, Todd. Tell Rogers to send another girl. Good. 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 Look at me, 
Jackson rakes all the student nurses over the coals during finals. You know this. He's a jerk. Yeah, well, he had every right to. I mean, I, I blew it in there, and... <laughs> You're not quitting, are you? No. No, I'm just gonna go visit my mom for the break. Sam. You're a good nurse. You are. Don't let this throw you, okay? Give me a... Claro. drive it around a bit to get the feel of it. <laughs> I got your feel for the Baldy. You wreck one more, you're out of here. I drive like an old lady. Wait, from Pasadena. It's not quite ready yet. Not quite ready? Look at this. My car's laid out like somebody's science project. Well, you know, we, we gave you that estimate before we understood the extent of the damage. Could I help you, miss? Um, yes, please. So my car was ready. Mm -hmm. You realize I've scheduled my life around your promise that my car would be ready Friday. It looks like you're all set. I'm sorry, Mr. Ladder. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. I, I really do. But I've got the most important meeting of my life this morning. And um, I'm stuck without a car. Excuse me, sir. Who do I speak to about my car? What was done to it? Well, can you believe this? Have you got a loaner? We don't provide that. What did you need to know? Uh, well, I, I would like to know what exactly was done to it. So I have to rent a car. I would suggest that. The retainer clip on your back. <laughs> did you know anything about cars? No, not really. <laughs> then it's a good thing we're here, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> we took good care of it. Just go see the cashier in there. So where do I rent a car? Well, there's um, A1 rent a car. It's about six or seven miles right up that way. Uh-huh. So? How do I get there? Oh. Well, Jose could take you. Um, Johnny! Where's Jose? I don't know. Oh, my God. When do you say he'll be back? I don't know. Excuse me. Do you have a phone book? I need a phone book. Thank you. It's not the day for this to happen. Not your day, huh? I have a presentation in Darlington in an hour. I can't be late. There's no way I can cancel. Bring it in for a tonsillectomy, and now they're doing open heart surgery. <laughs> if you're calling for a taxi, please hold for the next available. Decision. Why can't you speak to a human being? <sighs> you know, um, if you'd like, I could drop you off somewhere. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you very much. I, I'll figure out a way. Uh, are you sure? I mean, because you know, I only have to make one quick stop, and it'll only take a minute. You do that for me? <laughs> you are a godsend. A lifesaver. I mean it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ed Louder. Hi. I've got a card around here somewhere. <laughs> starting my own company today. Really? What kind of business? Well, it's not really a business. It's, it's a vision. Vision? Mm. Well, that 
let's just say I have created a whole new level of global connectivity. I don't get it. Networking computers. Internet point of presence is going to buzz into every wall plug everywhere. I've got Sprynet, Datatech, and Digicom. You name it. And it's all user friendly. So I could use it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my whole multimedia presentation right in here. And in less than an hour, thanks to you, I'm going to have five. Very powerful venture capitalists, right in the palm of my hand. Wow. Good luck. Well, it's not a question of luck. You know, you can program yourself for success. The mind is a tool. It just stores information. The brain is the processor, the ultimate computer. But you are the programmer. Well... My sisters. I'm dropping her baby off at her aunt's because she's got a job in her That's okay. Sure. Back. All right, two hours with this killer. You'd be calling 911. Oh, no, not me. Uh -huh. Mr. Sherry. Hi. I'm giving him a lift. He's, he's having car trouble. Mm. There you go. Bummer, Ed. Think you'll make it? What that's supposed to mean? Only that you're like the slowest driver in the world. No. <laughs> right, evil Knievel. I'm just cautious. You're like Grandma. So, how's the sick and dying business? All right. What's the matter? Nothing a little TLC for mom can't fix. Just watch out for that tuna casserole. Oh, mm. too bad you'll miss it. <gasps> oh, yeah, too bad. <laughs> All set? Can we go? Yeah. What's his problem? He's in a hurry. Anyway, you drive carefully. I know. Take care. Good luck with that job interview. Mm -hmm. All right. Give my love to mom. I will. You. <laughs> no. All right, don't worry, I'll get you there in time. No problem. Less than rain in the morning, we're taking your calls. Let's go to the phones. Hello. Hey, radio guys. Ah, it's Weird Larry. How you doing, Weird Larry? I'm okay, except one of the biggest problems I have isn't the cars, it's pedestrians. Pedestrians? Yeah, they step right out in front of my car. And what am I supposed, I'm supposed to stop for them? Yeah, they think they own the road, don't they? Yeah. Well, what do, what do you want? 20 points? 50 at least. Uh, Larry wants the hill. Crazy kid. I think they own the sidewalks. Well, it looks like fun to me. A death wish is fun? Oh, yeah, I do this all the time just for Nothing's big hearted giggles. Hell no, I'm okay. not all right. I'm hey. a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm fine, all right? Please. Jeez, look Let at this. Let me get you to a hospital. I look at my board. It's trash. Wasted. You're lucky you're alive. It's a, yeah, it's a good thing you're okay. Please, let me get you to a hospital, okay? You could be hurt internally and not even know it. And Forget it. See? He's okay. He's fine. Come on, let's go. Are you sure you're all right? Yes. See? <laughs> Look, he's young. He's young. They bounce back. They bounce. Okay. They bounce. Come on. Come on. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Come on. Hang on a sec. 
Hey, where are you guys headed anyway? Just some far out place. South on the freeway. Um, Maybe I could use a ride, like, right off the interstate. I mean, from there I could probably call someone because... Please. Please. Sure. Why ain't get in the back? What's up, dude? Younger generation Her is name so is like Teresa. uh please be careful. Uh excuse me. Do you mind if we drop you off on the freeway? We're in kind of a hurry. Whatever. Smoking kills, you know. Makes you dead. Sort of skateboarding. I mean statistically, though, think of your kid. Uh, it's, it's not, not my kid. Yeah, well, who's ever? Actually, um, I would prefer it if you didn't. The baby, the baby told you. Oh, right. Bad. Of course. Actually, I'm trying to quit. Oh, really? That's that's good. It's very unhealthy. You're so right. Could we uh, go a little bit faster? You think? I'm going the limit. Going to speed. <laughs> Sir? No, officer. I wasn't addressing you, sir. No problem, officer. Peel away from that light in a pretty big hurry. Can I see your license and registration, please? Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, sir. I just uh when I hit the gas, it, it just went. All by itself. I'm a very careful driver, sir. I don't Careful understand. drivers don't usually lay rubber, miss. I really I, I just happened. Registration, please. I really can't explain how this happened, sir. It's called reckless driving, miss. I just got it back from the shop, you know, and I, I had it tuned, and I'm on the way to my mom's, and... Having a rough day, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you rev the engine for me? Good to me. Well, it, it didn't a minute ago, sir. You should see a mechanic. I just came from a mechanic. There's a garage up on 15th if you want to have it checked out. Thank you, sir. Try to be more careful next time. I'll be more careful, sir. You do that, miss. Taking the car back to the shop. What? 
Just tuned, huh? Yes, but I don't understand. No, 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 no look. Like no, it's, it's the transmission. Happened. It's happened to me. It sticks. What are you talking it about? The transmission but doesn't it just stick. Sure it does. Why, why would... Do you know your mechanic personally? No, but Will I you don't stay understand out of this? why something the like this... The transmission doesn't... Yes, it does! Shh, the baby. Do you think you could just drop me off first? Fine. Fine. Okay. Less and rain in the morning. We're going to go back to the phones in just a minute. But first, let's go back to the rotor in the sky and get a traffic update. Well, Les, things are finally looking great up here. They've cleared that overturned vehicle on the 107. It looks like you late morning commuters are going to have clear sailing. And we're going to sign off. We're finally heading back to the barn ourselves. Hey, man, why don't we take a break? That's a good idea. Let's play some music. It's Les and Ray in the morning. Mmm, <laughs> choice. Elevator music. Not your style, huh? Well, it's no style, but hey, it's your elevator. Can I ask you something? Sure. Not that I'll answer anything. But... Why do you skateboard like that? Like what? Like a maniac. Hey, who is this guy? Yo, man? <laughs> No, I'm not your old man. Could you please stop arguing? He's the one that's getting off. Well, he's kids. right. It's dangerous, you know, falling off like that. You could have killed yourself. Or I could get electrocuted by a toothbrush. <laughs> Who cares? Nobody, obviously. Do you care? Hmm? Do you care? Do you care? Do you care? Do you care? Do you
came off. The thing, the rubber thing. So forget the rubber thing and pull the metal lever under. Can you do that? Oh, I thought you were scaring. Oh, I was. I was. I am. I am. It won't move. Pull harder. Please, Ed. Just, just pull it. Silence, rabble. <laughs> All right. So, it's, uh, last day on the bed of nails for old dad, huh? <laughs> And I'm out to pasture. <sighs> All right, I said uh, no speeches, and I'm not gonna make one. Good. Uh, <laughs> Um, there's no way I could insult all of you equally <laughs> all day. So I'm just going to say thanks. And uh, adios. And if anybody asks, I've gone fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Sedan, license yellow, Edward Paul, 527, southbound at Rex Road, subject refusing to pull over, in pursuit over. It's Ed, give me the control room. Got a hot one. That's Ray. Oh, wait a minute. You're kidding me. Hey, Ray. <laughs> hey, you got something out here? Buddy, if this is for real, it's going to be bigger than OJ. Cool. Bob, we've got a report of a runaway car heading eastbound. On the... You think you may, maybe he understands us or anything? Or... Yeah, what good is that going to do? Well, maybe he won't shoot us. You just take the rest of the day off. Yeah. Okay with this? Well, you while I'm getting income calling on, you want me to take it? No, no, no. Yeah. Barbara take care. You know, no, wait, I'll get... wait, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll get no, it. No, no, no. Sure? Hey, it's, it's my last shot. I'm going to go out with my boots on. All right, bud. Peace out, Mark. How can I help you? Yes, uh, we have a little problem here. Let me speak uh, to them, please. Please, thank you. We've got a big problem. I can't stop my car. Uh, lady, I'm Wally. Um, what's your name? Jenny Todd, can you help us? We're in the middle of the road here, and there's all these cars, and I, and I can't stop my car. 911 reports a female driver just called in. Claims her accelerator is stuck. She can't stop her vehicle. Yeah, I'm on her. They got phone contact? Affirmative, through 911. Good. Tell her to shift into neutral and hook me up with 911 direct. We'll do both. Jenny, here's what I want you to do. Just 
reach down and shift the car into neutral. I, I tried that, sir, and it won't budge. Did you try turning off the ignition? The ignition? Turn it off? Oh, my God. Of course. How obvious. Yes, yes. I, I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Thank you, sir. He says we should turn off the engine. Huh? Works for me. Just do it, okay? Just do it. It won't go off. Come on, turn it. Just turn it off. Won't turn off. Are you sure? I have to. Give me that. Too hard, dude. Broke it off. You're joking. Right in the ignition, she says. Ignition's locked on. Great. I'll get back to you. Dispatch. We've got you. What's her speed? 80 plus. She can't stop the car, it's just a matter of time, but she's in big trouble. I need a traffic break and a clear passing lane now. Affirmative. Have fun, Bo. I was only trying to turn it off. It was a car key, not a socket. Stop arguing, please. Are you there, sir? Well, loud and clear, Jenny. You just hang tight. I don't need any sassy remarks from a smart-ass street punk. How many people are in the car with you? Three plus the baby is four. The baby? Yes, it's my sister's baby. Sassy. We're talking to the Highway Patrol right now. Exactly how old are you? How old are you? Jenny, do you have any brakes at all? No. How's the baby? Is the baby okay? How is she? Sound asleep, missing all the fun. the highway patrol is clearing the left lane for you. How much gas do you have? Uh, about three quarters of a tank. This is highway patrol to the 18 wheel in the passing lane. Get out of the way now! Oh, God. Get the hell out of the way! man on earth and we're going to stay overhead for the complete story what the hell happens off traffic break can not answer that for you Bo. i got the captain on the line put him through here you got a hot one Bo. yes sir woman's accelerator stuck and she's doing 80 plus what do you plan to do with her i never had one like this before sir what does the book say you got to write this part yourself corporal 
She's a live missile, sir. She's in danger to herself and everyone else on the highway. All right, what is her gas situation? 911 says she has three quarters of a tank, sir. Okay. Hang on a minute, I'll get back to you. Yes, sir. So, what are we telling? Well, no fault of the lady, but you've got to treat her like a threat to public safety. No question, but you have to consider her, too, and her passengers. She's got a baby on board. Okay. Now, she is here, headed to Springfield. Now, we've got all the on-ramps closed, and the highway cleared that far. But if she makes it to the city... With that much gas, she will. Unless she runs in the ditch first. Now, the question is, how the hell do we stop her? Well, I don't think you can mess around. I think you got to play hard, Paul. What about a tire puncture and strip? No, if she hits one at her speed, she'll spin out. You risk killing everyone in the car. And there's no way to hook on to her? No. She's going to make Springfield in less than 20 minutes. We can't just let her run and hope for miracles. So you're saying we should take her out? I'm saying we got to consider it. Her speed's increasing, sir. I don't know how much longer she can keep it together. We roger that. All right, hang in there, Bo. Now, we're going to patch you through to her cellular, let her know you're with her. Maybe you can calm her down. We're looking at all the angles. Yes, sir. Less than rain in the morning, and folks, we got to ask you a big favor. The Highway Patrol has asked us to tell you to please stay off Highway 117. Apparently, there's some car that's having difficulty out there. So, folks, keep listening. We'll let you know when it's safe to get back on. Jenny. I'm going to need you to stay calm. Just stay calm. Now, can you see the highway patrol car? Yes, yes, it, it's right behind me. All right, I'm going to put you through to him. So we meet again. You're the officer that stopped me before. Yes, I am. I'm Officer Beaufort. Do you believe me now? Yes, ma'am. Can you stop us, Officer Beaufort? Just call me Bo. Can you stop us, Bo? That's what they pay me for. I just got to figure out how. Yvonne's next in line on the phone. Go ahead, Yvonne. I think going at 100 miles an hour if you're tired. Sorry. Transit authority on the line, sir. Yeah, Dick. Listen, you got any silver bullets? All we've got are bad ideas, and we're running short of them. Looks like she's going to run shorter road. How's that? Well, that section of highway is closed for construction. The detour is going to take her clear through the middle of Springfield. Oh, boy. <laughs> no play. No play. The hot wires are inside the dash. Chief on the line for you, sir. All right, what's the bottom line, Clint? The highway's completely torn up. She's got to get off on the detour. Right, but is it cleared out? Hey, I'm doing everything I can, Jim. But understand me, if she kills people in my town, I've got to take the rap. Look, it's not just her. One of my guys is on her tail. I'm not asking for the moon. Just give him a decent shot. I said it. I'll do all I can. <laughs> I just got off the horn with the chief in Springfield. He's doing everything he can. Anyone tell about the detour yet, sir? Yeah, the 911 guy's on tour now. It's not that bad, Jenny. You can handle the detour. Detour? Why? What kind of detour? You can do it. They're clearing a way for you. Clearing a way? How can I make a detour if I'm going so fast? Jenny, this is Bo. It's going to be all right. 
We're gonna lead you through, okay? We're going 90 miles an hour. How the... Excuse me. How can I make a detour? Jenny, you gotta trust me on this. I'll be with you the whole way, okay? Fine. Okay. How do we stand? She's got a clean entry into the detour. But even if she makes it through, she's got the whole city ahead of her. Do it 90? She'll never make the turn off. I don't know how she could get through without a major crack up. <sighs> I don't see where we've got a choice. No, sir. We gotta stop her. Jenny, the trooper who just came on is gonna lead you through. I'm gonna pull back now and follow you in. Nothing's gonna happen. You're gonna be safe. Six dozen. I right, bring them out and load us up. Right. Just pull over there. The second police cruisers now join this chase, and it appears as though they're heading to the Springfield. Springfield's about, I'd say, about nine miles from here. The roads appear to be clear, but those are city streets, and these are speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. I wouldn't want to be in that car. Ah! Fire Quickly, 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 quickly! Come on! it off. Break it off what? They set up a water barrier. Break it off now. Barrier at this speed? Are they crazy? Break it off now, Bo. That's an order. You and the lead car. Break it off now. Oh, my God. Too, all right? This was Springfield's call. They never told us. Sir, if that's the best they can do, what are they waiting for? Why don't they just shoot her right now and get it over with? Damn it! They're off the detour. They're back on the main highway. The first cruiser's taking the direct hit. Trash! Completely trashed. The runaway car is doing okay. And the second cruiser is okay as well. And as I look ahead, the highway is completely open. Jenny, Jenny, you okay? Okay! No, I'm not okay. We're not okay. Jenny, it was a mistake. Mistake? Jenny, Wally here. The Springfield police set it up. We were totally in the dark about this. Listen, I don't believe you guys, and I don't trust you guys anymore. We're just a problem for you to get rid of. Jenny, you're wrong. We're in this together. We are doing everything we can. Yeah, well, then prove it. Jenny, just, just give me a chance. Listen to me, Jenny. Now, you're looking pretty good now. The highway up ahead is clear. <laughs> Jenny, how's your gas? Got over half a 
tank. Oh, that's good. Every mile, you're just that much closer to empty. You work with us now, okay? Forget them. I know how to stop this if I can hack it. The distributor wire. Distributor wire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, if I kill the electrical system, the engine's got to die. They're under the hood, stupid. I know where they are. They're under the hood. What is he, nuts? If you pop the hood, it'll blow off. <laughs> There's a hook under there. It's not going to blow off. The mill, dummy. The wind. Well, will then take... what? You just, just climb out? Oh, sure. He just climbs right out, right out of the car. You would do that. I mean, yeah. It's a shot. I mean, what the hell else are we gonna do? You ready to run? Oh, oh, it's not gonna work. Suck it open! Okay, copy. Tell my mom that I didn't do myself on purpose. I mean, that guy can't be doing this. Oh, he's doing it. Climbing out of a car, doing 100 miles an hour. Unbelievable. Folks, we're going to stay with this drama as it plays out, and we just hope these people make it.
my God! Oh, He's bleeding, Jenny! 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 Uh, Jenny. Uh, Jenny. Uh, Jenny! Jenny! He's bleeding all over! Oh my God! Jenny, answer me if you can hear. Turn that later, please. Keep he's dropping, Doctor. Jenny, I need help. Jenny. I said deep. Do you understand the word deep? I'm sorry, sir. I got a clamp. Jenny, answer me if you can hear. Don't let this throw you. Tonto clamp. Jenny! I need a tonto clamp now. You're a good nurse. Don't let this throw you. Jenny, answer me if you can hear. Yes. For God's sakes, Jenny, don't cut me off like that. just risked his life appears to be hurt. We're not sure just how badly. We've also learned the heroic highway patrolman who's been following this car chase since the story began is Isaiah Beaufort. He's a decorated nine-year veteran. Down to you, Les. As this amazing saga continues, we just learned the identity of the people in the runaway car. Okay, Les, the two male passengers are Ed Lauder and Dexter Strang. Now, Mr. Lauder's a computer programmer, and Dexter Strang, known as Dex, is a freshman at Baxter College. Now, the driver is a nurse from Darlington. Her name is Jenny Todd. We understand her sister's baby is in the car. Jenny, is everyone all right? Yes, oh. uh, yes, I'm here. We're all right for the moment. Look, uh, Jenny, we uh, may have a problem up ahead. What kind of a problem? You're going to be crossing the state line pretty soon, coming up on Seaport. Now, there is a, a bridge over the bay. Uh-huh. It's a big drawbridge. Uh-huh. Well, it's nothing to worry about now. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Well, it's a drawbridge. A drawbridge can be raised and lowered, but you're not really sure if it's a problem or not, are you? We don't control the bridge. But we're working on the people who do right now. It's not in this state, so we don't have jurisdiction. We're not going to have a problem with this thing, are we, Dub? Problem? Well, I don't know, Jim. Looks like we got one hell of a problem already. I'm talking about that drawbridge. Now, she's got to cross it. Look, I can't let her come roaring into Seaport doing 100 at rush hour. So what are you saying? I got to call into the governor right now. She goes in the water, there's a chance we can save her. Look, I gotta look out for my own, Jim. I know you understand. Jenny, is this okay? Jenny! Yeah, 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 snug, but not too tight, tight around his knee. How much gas you got left, Jenny? Oh, over a quarter of a tank still. If we're lucky, you'll run out before we get there. But yeah, but, but, but what, if, what if we don't? Bo, I've gotta get the baby out of this car. The baby? Out of the car. Yes, the baby out of the car. You're the policeman. Think of a way. Okay, here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to pull up on your right side. The gentleman in the passenger seat is going to hand the baby to me out the window. What? You want to get the baby out of the car, right? Jenny, how about it? Are we on? Hand the baby out the window. Are, can you get close enough? We won't know till we try. I mean, this, this is just insane. Jenny. Right now, I don't see any other way. All right.
On TV. Oh, honey, don't play games with your grandma. No kidding, Grandma. As they continue on this incredible human drama played out at 100 plus miles an hour, Jenny's heroic and desperate attempt to save her sister's baby has failed. Now, with Seaport less than 20 minutes away, we've oh learned the Seaport drawbridge continues to remain open due to what authorities describe as a mechanical malfunction. As a nation remains riveted to this amazing story, we can only hope and pray that heroic Jenny runs out of gas before she runs out of time. Sir, what the hell goes on? Is it down yet? We're talking to their people, Bo, but so far the bridge stays up. Bo, we've got to tell her. No question. She can handle it. She's amazing. There's got to be something we can try. I mean, she, she's desperate to save that baby. What about the chopper? Whose is it? Belongs to a Springfield TV station. Could be our answer. That, that's a huge risk. Would she go for it? Yes, yes, okay, but can he do it in time? set up for rescue. We don't have a winch. We do have a hundred feet of tie down line. What, no basket? Nothing to put her in? Negative. They got an open sunroof. Can we get a rope to them? Look, there's a lot of wind. We have to weigh down the line. We can give it a try. We've got to make it safe. She cannot fall. No way she's falling. She'll fit in my pack like a bug in the rug. Whip in, clip on. Fail safe. the line 
by now. You're going to need to unhook the weight before you clip the baby on. What's it gonna be, Dub? I'm sorry, Jim. First day's up. She's ridden this thing out this long, and you just decide... Listen, the rescue personnel gonna be standing by, huh? The doc says they got a fair chance, and uh, we'll be there to hold them up. Well, you better pray she lives, Dub, because if she dies, you as good as killed her. Lesson Ray still taking your calls about today's big incident in town. Let's go back to the phone. Hey, who's this? Yeah, it's Jim. There's nothing wrong with that bridge. What are you saying, Jim? They're just telling us that the bridge is broke, it's up, or whatever. They just don't want those people in town. Oh, so, um, how are we doing? Not so good. Remember that drawbridge we told you about? Bo? Bo, are you there? What the hell? Jenny! Jenny! Do you hear me? I don't believe this. Her phone has gone dead. Bo, are you there? We are sorry. The phone's gone dead. Dead? What, what, what do you mean, the battery? There was a recording. You didn't pay your bill. You should have paid your bill, dude. Rich, 
The call just cut out. I need you to play back the last bit of it. Not so good. Remember that drawbridge we told you about? Again. Pick up again. Oh, so, um, how are we doing? Not so good. Remember that drawbridge we told you about? The radio was on. How can the state patrol let this happen? I mean, come on, there's got to be something they can do. What the hell would it be? I don't know. I mean, look at this. It's going to take some kind of miracle to save her. Yeah, you're right. Two, two, line two. Studio, it's Wally Baird, 911. Who have I got? This is Les. Go ahead, Wally. Les, uh, the girl in the runaway car, her phone just went dead. Now, she's got you guys tuned in, but she doesn't know it. Fantastic! You know, if you guys could get her attention, you could link me up with her. Hang on, we're gonna try. Are we beginning to think we might actually survive? Yeah, too good to be true. You know, it's, it's just a drop on no, it's, it's not just a drawbridge. It's the end of the line. Hey, we don't know that, all right? Maybe if you were to page your phone bill, we yeah, could talk to the people. No, no, you didn't do that, so now we're so... Shh! Shh! Not your business. Listen, do you hear that? No. Come on, Jenny! Come on, Jenny, you gotta hear us. There's somebody in that car. I just heard my name. Jenny, listen up, okay? <laughs> If you can hear us, show us somehow by flashing your lights, okay? Finally, it comes, my fatal 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> yes! We got her! Baby! We got her! We got her! Listen, Wally, we got her. That's great. You guys are terrific. Now listen, we're gonna hook you up to her just like you were right here in the studio, okay? This is so great. Jenny, listen to me carefully now, Jenny. We're gonna hook you up to Wally through our show. And we're on it right now, so just hang on. Is this the information superhighway or what? How are we looking down there? 80 yards of nothing but air, and the state line's coming up pretty fast. What the hell is the holdup? I don't know, but you're gonna have to leave her at the line, Bo. Wow, are you on the air yet? In a minute. Listen, I can't let her cross the line. Tell her not to panic. I'm gonna pass her, ease back, and make contact. It might blow her engine. That's a hell of a risk, Bo. They're all dead if that bridge doesn't come down, sir. Oh, you are really hanging it out there, son. It's a chance I want to take, sir. Okay. It's your call. Move it up. Jenny, you can't talk back, but I know you can hear me. Yes! Beaufort's gonna pass you now. He's going to get in front of you and gradually slow down to your touch. There'll be no collision. Once you make contact, he'll slow down and slow you with him. Now just focus on the back of Beaufort's car, okay? Here we go.
Jenny, Bo's okay, but you're coming up on the state line. You're gonna lose him there. That's where his jurisdiction ends. I pulled every chain I could. Their governor turned us down. They say the risk to the city is too great if she goes through. What about her? Now, from their point of view, she's expendable. I'm sorry. You gotta break it off and let her go, Bo. She's their responsibility now. Bo, did you hear me? Yes, sir. It just took me a while to believe it. Well, I'm with you, but my hands are tied. Yes, sir. Your run's over, Bo. You can't cross that state line. Yes, sir. We're coming up on the state line. It's not slowing down. Hell no, he ain't. Smash. Bo, don't do this. Loudon. The stakes just went up. How's that? One of my troopers just pulled the head of her. Son of a... Is the man crazy? All I can tell you is he's out of my control now. But he is leading her in, and you better know he means it. We didn't need this, Jim. No way. We're at the Seaport Drawbridge, and as you can see from this live picture, it still remains in the up position. Authorities are still telling us it's mechanical difficulties. However, sources have led us to believe that the drawbridge might be kept up for other reasons. They may be worried about traffic on the other side. And as Officer Beaufort and Jenny get closer, no provisions have been made to clear for traffic. Wally, I'm nine minutes from the bridge. If it doesn't come down, I'm going to pull ahead of her. Stop. There's going to be a crash. You're taking one hell of a risk, Bo. It's better than ripping off into space at 100 miles plus and 80 feet above water. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loudon, I just got off the phone with Governor. He says y'all responsible for your man's life, and we're holding you accountable for any damage he does down here. I already told you I have no control over the man now. Playing hardball with me ain't gonna get it. You put me in a damn box here, Jim. Well, it's the same box I'm in, Dub. Look, I've done what I could. It's up to you now. This is the first time in the history of this show that the listeners are actually coming together to help solve a problem. We've had a lot of good ideas. I know the Highway Patrol is doing everything within their power to stop this car. Keep listening, though. We're going to keep you up to date on the situation and let you know the outcome. Any more ideas, give us a call. We'll see what we can do to help out. And we'll keep these people in your thoughts and prayers. I don't know what's going to happen, but then I'll whip all the way. Here? Bo, I want to try and patch you through to her via the radio. Okay, Bo, we'll put you through now. Listen, Jenny, whatever happens, I know you can do it. You made it this far, you can make it all the way. We're with you, Jenny. People all over the country are pulling for you. Yeah, all but the ones who running that damn drawbridge. You got that right. <laughs> Just one more. You can make one more miracle. Yeah, I've had enough practice. <laughs> yeah, Karsten? Yes, sir. That loony bastard's still ahead of her? Yes, sir, about eight minutes out. Now, Laura, the damn bridge. I can't take the fault for killing a highway patrolman, not even an out-of-state one. Get it down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Give me Willie May. Fast. Yes, sir. Fast! Yes, sir. Yes! Willie May, you gotta get it down fast. There's
there seven minutes out. It takes eight minutes to full closure. That ain't good enough. You gotta push it. I can run 18 feet a minute, but you're risking disaster. Willie Mae, I'm telling you to give it all it's got. Push it to the max. I don't like it. We gotta like it. Do it. They folded. They're lowering the bridge. That's great, but I'm less than six minutes out. Can they do it in time? They're gonna try. I'm obliged to you, sir. I'm, uh, I'm real proud of you, Trooper. Jenny, they're lowering the bridge. Well, that's awfully darn nice of them. Three minutes. Got it dropping again. Keep hope alive. I'm two minutes away. I can see where the bridge begins. You're gonna make it, Bo.
Yeah, what? Who the hell left the arm ramp open? Get to Smith and traffic control. Any interest? Oh, Okay. <laughs> 